goody, wish goody, wish goody, people. It's your boy JFK. We live and direct. Find your lane television. Er, we all over the place. Yo, man, what's goody, man? Hopefully, I had a good weekend and all that, you know. It's Sunday. Time to get back to the grizzle. But, um, this is like my battle rap part of the channel. We're going to talk a little battle rap right now. You know what I'm saying? I be really freestyling, so it be like whatever come to my brain we're going to talk about. You know what I mean? So, I heard something that k Shine. It's finally about to get back to battle rap. I heard K Shine is booked for a battle. <laughs> but then K Shine is saying that B well I guess he supposed to have been battling on Hitman bags and bodies. Or with somebody. And I guess Hitman was doing a surprise battle. And I guess the surprise battle is K Sean. And um Beasley, Hitman telling Sean that Beasley called his phone like, yo, I hope you're not booking Shine to do no uh surprise battle because we cool. So basically he's saying like if you book Sean for this battle, we ain't cool no more. I think that's crazy, but you know the whole Shine URL situation is kind of crazy. Basically, I don't. I, I and what's crazy is I never really found out what it's about, but I, I'm kind of figuring like they paid K Shine for Mad Battles and and, and, and K Shine. I guess ain't want to finish out the contract, or I guess he felt he finished out the contract because the battle with Jack Boy Main. You know they was supposed to battle. But Jack Boy May had a seizure or something happened and they didn't have the battle. So K Shine felt like, yo, that's my last battle right there. It's not my fault that he had a seizure or whatever happened. You know what I'm saying? And K Shine basically saying, like, yo, they could have made him do that. Like, they could have told him to do that just to keep me in contract type. You know what I'm saying? So notice we ain't seen K Shine battle in about two years, almost three years. You know what I'm saying? And if you think about it, he, he kind of, he might have waited too late. But I don't know, you know, we still, people still checking for K-Shine. He still get views, like, people on the gram check for him, you know what I'm saying? So, you never really know, you know what I'm saying, what's really going on. The one thing I don't like about battle rap no more is that battle rap is, is so scripted now. Like, you know, like, back in the days, you used to couldn't tell if, these people didn't really like each other. Like, you almost thought that they was finna fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how good they promoted stuff. Like, now it's just like everybody's so friendly in the camera. So, it's like, I don't know, bro. Battle Rap just, they don't have the, the, the it factor it used to have. And I think it's when, it was kind of before the caffeine era, if you think about it. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like when they started getting all them weird sponsors and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They started letting them people put their hands on it, and it got kind of tainted. You know what I mean? So, I really don't even know how to feel about K-Shine coming back because it's like, bro, you kind of waited mad long to come back me personally i feel like he should have never let it get this long like if all you had to do was do a battle and and that be that just you should have just did the battle and let that be that you know what i'm saying because now you don't kind of lost your buzz you know what i'm saying like it ain't gonna be the same as if it would have been if k shine would have came back last year or the year before that you know what i'm saying See, now you done kind of let a lot of time go by. And, you know, your buzz kind of died down a little bit. Not like that much, but it did kind of die down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I be seeing, I be seeing K-Shine post his old battles on the, um, on the gram. And, you know, he trying to, prom trying to promote himself. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I think it's crazy that he's saying that Beasley is block telling people not to book him. I think that's crazy to me. Even if he even if he do like 
oh, you a battle or whatever the case, I don't think you should take food out the man's mouth. Like, come on, you calling people, telling them, like, yo, you book him, we got problems, or we not cool no more. I think that's really crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I see they done bagged up the mayor of NYC off. I, I, I think them, I think, I, I, like, I don't think they was investigating Puff until they seen Puff was cool with the mayor. Because I think the mayor is who they really was investigating. And I think Puff got caught in that crossfire. You know what I'm saying? Because Puff cool with the mayor. They gave Puff the key to the city. So I think that's what really made the feds look at Puff off the strength of the mayor of NYC. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be crazy. I think that's going to be kind of like a domino effect. I think Puff was kind of like the first domino like the mayor the second it's gonna probably be a lot of other dominoes falling behind that yeah but it's your boy jfk we live and direct find your lane oops find your lane television oops we all over the place holler one